Hi, Michael. Hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm feeling good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, and I'm particularly excited because today we're going to be delving into the deep depths of the internet to show you some of the craziest saxophones that we can find online. So much of my research has been from when you're lying in bed, you're on YouTube watching perfectly normal saxophone videos, and then the next thing you know, you're watching a hoof being repaired by a GP. Wow. Oh, this actually happened a few nights ago. My girlfriend leant over and was very concerned about my well-being. <laughs> <laughs> this is the YouTube rabbit hole that we are led down sometimes. And we're going to be somewhere in the middle of the Hoof GP and normal saxophone. Somewhere that's, right down the middle. That's my favourite place to be. It so, is. here at sax.co.uk, we are no strangers to strange and wonderful saxophones like this wooden saxophone here. If you want to hear this being played, jump on our Instagram channel here, George, playing it. It is very interesting. It's very interesting. As you can imagine, it doesn't possess the best tone in the world, but you do have to take your hats off to whoever made this because it's absolutely nuts. Incredible. Same with this vibrato right here. So these are completely plastic, incredibly lightweight, and they again, really interesting different tone. So we have chosen three videos each to show each other. Neither of us know what videos we've chosen either. Don't have a clue. Um, so to decide who's going to go first, I think rock, paper, scissor is probably the only option. How, can, say? how else can you choose, okay. choose anything? Ready? Okay. Oh, he's done it. He's only gone and beaten me. Here we go. <laughs> so, for this video, we are going to be ranking our videos from a scale of one to 10. So one is very much on the normal scale of saxophones. So what you would typically find in the shop. 10 is the completely crazy, unimaginable, impractical, beautiful saxophones that exist in this world. We've decided that our threshold in the shop would be about a seven. So seven's gonna be your contrabass saxophones, maybe the Soprillos, nothing too wild, but you know, pretty, pretty out there. Pretty out there stuff. So, for my first video, I thought we'd actually look at a contrabass. Uh, okay, interesting. Well. Not a normal contrabass because okay. we've got them in store. I thought we'd look at a sub contrabass. <laughs> okay. Okay, to start with, that the bell is ridiculous. That, you could fall down and get <laughs> lost for weeks, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, this thing's absolutely nuts. I mean, this is like a YouTube classic. For me, this was one of like the first videos, saxophone videos I remember going viral. And you can see why. I mean, that thing is absolutely nuts. It's chonky. It? The pads are just like this. <laughs> So I, I, should, I should add here that I've actually tried to order a sub contrabass for the shop no. before from Benedict Evelsheim. Obviously we have our E flat contrabasses. This is basically a B flat. So the B flat one is the sub contrabass. And I really wanted one in the shop just because they're absolutely nuts. And Benedict Evelsheim turned around to us and basically said, don't, don't do it, <laughs> don't do it. I think the yeah. trouble is it's so niche. And when you get down to the bottom registers, it's mainly just vibrations. You yeah. can hardly hear the notes. So although it'd be amazing to have in the shop, that's actually the reason why you haven't seen one here before. Christ, you know you're in trouble when the manif you go, oh, I want to make this thing, and the manufacturer goes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I feel like I have to do that. <laughs> Right, so, so this um, is up to me to rate it, because yes, I haven't do. seen what you had prepared. So for me, I would give this an eight. An eight? And my reason is an eight. I know it is absolutely insane, but I feel like the fact I've tried to order one for the shop only just tips it above the seven threshold. That's fair. Um, yeah, it's something I did want here, I was advised against for good reason, <laughs> um, so it gets a solid eight from me. I'll take an eight. So, sub contrabass gets an eight. Okay, so this is one of the most obscure saxophones I've ever seen, and I actually don't quite understand <laughs> why or how it works. I even went into the technicians to ask them why. <laughs> why? And even they why? couldn't give an explanation. So actually, if any of you out there know 
why yeah. <laughs> get in the comments tell us why get in the comments and tell us why so okay i'm gonna show you you ready okay. <laughs> okay, right, I need to hear your thoughts then. Go <laughs> you don't even know what to think, do you? I don't know where to start with this. <laughs> I think, to start with, it sounds like a tenor saxophone, so what's, why? Uh, exactly, I wish I had more of an explanation for you, but... I mean, he's obviously only miking the top bell. So yeah. I, my first thoughts were maybe there's extra notes down the bottom end or something. But again, I sat in with the technicians. We watched the video and we couldn't quite work it out. And for me, it makes me quite like nervy and like <laughs> anxious watching it. Okay, so you know how in horror films yeah. they make the monsters look slightly human? Apparently I, that's something with uh, human yeah. psychology. Uncanny Valley, that is. Is that actually what it yeah. is? I feel like this is the saxophone equivalent of that. You know how it's like yeah. a saxophone, but they've changed it ever so slightly. And it makes me like, oh, it makes me a little bit nervous. I need to see a bit okay. more of it. Okay, so what, I mean, it sounds like a normal saxophone. It does sound it? like a normal yeah, saxophone. Yeah, it sounds great. He's playing it really well. This is actually a really great video. There's loads of bonkers saxophones in here, but for me, this was the one that stood this out. So. That is completely wild. Okay, so go on then, get onto it. What's your rating? You see, I'm conflicted with my rating right now. It's it's clearly mad, but it does sound like a normal saxophone. That is true, that is so, true. So, I, I mean, Yo. I'm gonna give it a seven because oh, it is crazy, seven. it's crazy. But it's the, it, you got the sound as well. It's not. I'm not it's, sure about Michael's rating. It doesn't there. sound what are you, what are crazy like, enough. Right? Get in the comments <laughs> if you can tell me. But I'm giving it a seven. Okay, so for my video number two, uh, I have decided to go with something that looks quite normal, actually. So I've decided to go with the linear chromatic tenor saxophone. Didn't even know this was a thing. Now. Uh, before we look at the video, I just want to quickly run by. So when you, when the saxophone was invented and built and all that kind of stuff, mm. it was mostly based around the C major scale and then sharps and flats were built around that, so you chop them in. With the chromatic tenor saxophone, the theory is that you build it around a chromatic scale yeah. rather than a specific scale. Yeah. And that should make your life easier. I actually think it's quite a good looking thing. Okay. I also think Jim Schmidt in this video okay. is nuts, and I think yeah. I love him. <laughs> okay, I can so, see why we've chosen this already. Yeah, so I want you to, I just want for Jim Schmidt alone. <laughs> okay, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on a second. That introduction is amazing. Yeah, that's just. Ah, I sound, the, I, you're related to this guy, aren't you? Yeah, yeah somewhere can, in my heart, I am. <laughs> somewhere in your heart. And this is a brand new tenor I just finished. It's got the linear chromatic fingering system. So, okay, so he shows that it's a chromatic scale. Exactly. So what you're seeing there is him playing it uh, like a chromatic. But he's playing a chromatic scale. But when you played the saxophone and you normally you're fiddling around, he's just playing it like you would do your basic. C major scale. Yeah, I mean, I just for me, surely <laughs> it's trying to rework the whole way that people are educated with the saxophone again, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's you, you learn it in a certain way. It, unlearning it and picking that up is surely going to be detrimental, right? That's what makes it completely insane. <laughs> this man is gone. Okay, here's the saxophone. <laughs> the fingering system for this has been, what, the same for at least 60 years. What if I just did a different thing? <laughs> I I just think that is mental. <laughs> yes. Well, he's playing it with enough confidence that it makes you, you know makes you a little bit more convinced. But yeah, I mean to start with, incredibly like brave choice of song <laughs> to go with on the video. I would not go anywhere near it personally. <laughs> uh, I just think, as I say, if you look at it. 
as any other saxophone, you'd be like, that's just your tenor saxophone. Yeah. But the, I just think the amount of engineering and effort that has gone into making this a chromatic saxophone is just borderline insane thing to do. And I love it. I would have one in a heartbeat, but what's your crazy rate? I do like it when people try something different. I'm going to give him points for that. Um, but in terms of how, yeah, wild it is, yeah, it's it's out there, isn't it? Because I'm not really sure of the market for it. So I'm going to give this, I mean, it sounds like a tenor, so that's going to lose some points. I'm going to give it another eight. I'm sorry, I'm going to get, just tipping over again. Because it's it sounds like a tenor, yeah. essentially you could you could play it, we're not play it the same as a tenor, you know what I mean? You could yeah. make it sound the same as a tenor, just with the the notes in different positions. That's the thing, it's, it's not got two bells and it's not firing off cannons everywhere. <laughs> but what it is, is you pick it up and you just, you, you make your brain melt and I kind of love it for that. So Jim, you've got my respect, buddy. It's time for my second video. I want to ask you your first one, I'm very excited. Okay, well I'm hoping to go one up on that this okay. time. Uh, I seem to be following a bit of a theme actually, which you'll find out about in a moment. Uh, so why don't we just get straight on with it? Oh, okay, ready? show me. <laughs> it's Joe Levano. What are you doing, Joe? <laughs> Got any guesses? I have no idea. I'm, I'm guessing. Maybe I, from the sound of it at all? The sound is. It does sound like someone slapped two sopranos together. I have. I love this. Two sopranos sat together. <laughs> this is the orlochrome. The orlo or allochrome, however you're potato potato, however you're meant to pronounce it. So there it is. So it is. It's two sopranos strapped together, made by Francois Louis, who we sell his mouthpieces. He's a mouthpiece manufacturer. We've been selling his ligatures as well. Okay, sorry. How, how do you get from Reed's <laughs> mouthpiece, mouthpiece ligatures, slap two sopranos together? You get bored. You're bored, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but this is interesting, actually, because it's really split opinions in the shop. Um, I showed this to a few of my colleagues as well, who are like really heavily into their jazz. Must say, obviously, Joe Lovano, an absolute jazz giant, you know, incredible player. Um, but for me, for me, I I can't deal with it. It, it like makes me just Itchy. feel weird. Yeah. But a few of the guys here absolutely love oh, it. Um, what do yeah. you guys think? Do you, do you enjoy it? Uh, it's interesting to know. Um, but how about you? How do you think? I mean, it reminds me immediately of Rash on Roland Kirk. Immediately, yeah, yeah, just blowing all the saxophones at the same time. Yeah. Uh, but kind of like the cheaters version of that, like the version I would be yeah. able to do. But obviously not the same as Lovano because yeah. he's a genius. So you can play the instrument uh, either an individual soprano or both at the same time, and you can have any interval you you desire um, um, from a chromatic scale. That's again. the it's, coolest thing I've ever heard. It's absolutely nuts. <laughs> On to the rating then. I mean, come on. This is, I seem to be going along the theme of choosing saxophones with two bells. You just love it. two bells. So it can't <laughs> be helped. Um, that's insane. I love it immediately. Yeah. To start with, I think it's marvellous and I'll, I want one for the shop and I want yeah. one for myself. Um, it's getting a nine. Yeah. It has to get a nine because it's just... It's just really strange, but in the best possible way. Like, it's... That is so cool. That's really cool. Okay, so for my third and final uh, saxophone, I've uh, I've cheated a little bit. Oh, okay, well, what's going on here? Well, because um, we've seen some two bell saxophones. They've reinvented the fingering system, made them bigger and fatter. But for this one, I just love it because it's just the funniest little thing. And it is the 1990s toy, the saxophone. Ah, the saxophone. <laughs> Two, three, four, one, two, three, mother. <laughs> oh, I love Jack Black, so good. <laughs> I mean, it sounds better than Sam Winston, so give it that. But do you, okay, so with this, 
Do you actually, I see he's not pressing any of the keys or yeah. anything. Do you just blow down it? It's like you say, it's a kid's toy. I've yeah. never played one of these. I've never seen one in real life. Yeah, so it's, it's an incredibly rare instrument now. These oh, are nice very one. sought after. Yeah. But basically, each of the different buttons has different like audio prompts. Okay. But if you know what you're doing, you can blend them quite nicely together. <laughs> there is actually like a shocking amount of musicality to it, as you will see in the next part of this video, which is why I chose it. Yeah. <laughs> With the band as well. It's nice to have some like, loop pedal on it as well. They've got it like rigged up to exactly. some effects. I mean, that, yeah, I mean, it's just so good actually when you see something that's that basic, you know, a kid's toy yeah. put into another context, made some fun. We just shows you can make music with anything. Okay, so I love Jack Black. I was a big Tenacious D fan. Um, the sax of boom um, yeah, it's obviously a kid's toy, but it's just good to see that you can use it in a, well, comedic but professional context, which is, I'd listen which to is that. fun. I'd love listen to that. I mean, we should probably try and get hold of one, shouldn't we? Oh my God, we should so get hold of one. So, I'm gonna just, I don't know. I should. The thing is, is it crazy? Is it crazy? Again, is it crazy? It is. I, would I have it in the shop? I wouldn't sell it in the shop, but I'd have one in the shop. So, I'm actually gonna give it seven for my final video it actually features one of our colleagues does it who we call the tone king the tone king himself the tone king himself because he does have a lovely tone he does have a lovely um, tone um so don't let this video put you off <laughs> his skills because <laughs> the saxophone is quite unique okay are you ready to see it i don't think i am but let's do it you are ready so here okay. we go <laughs> Initial thoughts then. <laughs> oh, God. So I bet you've never seen this what video. Many this? of you probably never had because this is like hidden within our Twitter page. I think I filmed this maybe five years ago or so. It's a long old time ago. What yeah. am I looking at? So this is the Swanee Sax. The Swan. Oh, it's got a good name. Exactly. As well. So oh. the Swanee Sax. Um, I don't even know when it was manufactured, to be honest. This came in to us um, when we were based at a different shop in London. Um, the gent wanted it, um, I don't know, lubricated. I don't even know what you... <laughs> I don't even know what you do to... Um, do, what can you the do? The mechanics of it or anything. But we got it working for him. Um, I suppose it might be quite fun in film scores. Or, do you remember the Clangers? Do you remember that yeah. like, TV programme, Clangers? Yeah. I'd imagine it'd be good for that kind of sound. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think this didn't catch up? Oh God, I don't know if I'm honest with you. It's like all of the fun of like a kazooie sort of style sound, but with the look of a sax. That's so weird, isn't it? Go oh, on then, what's your rating? That's gotta be a 10. Wee! That's gotta be a 10. Because like... I feel mean now, giving him such bad scores. Hey look, but... in my defense, uh, in your defense, sorry, I I chose like stuff that made me smile and I thought was quite wow, sweet. Yeah. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> like, Let us know what you guys think of our videos. Did we select absolute rubbish? Um, do you know of any other videos that are good? If so, put links to them in the comments below. Um, do hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you didn't like it, hit the dislike video. It's always good to know when we're, you know, yeah, not true. on the right tracks. And if you do dislike it, we will ban you. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>